this is the part 3 of chopper controlled dc motor drives in this lecture we will discuss the type b chopper fed separately excited dc motor as we know the type b chopper is a step up chopper which operates in quadrant 2 so in this circuit diagram you can see it feeds the armature of a separately excited DC motor but the step up chopper has its low voltage side connected to the armature terminals of the motor and high voltage side is connected to the power supply Vs and the current flow will be from the motor to the source that we will discuss later this is the basic circuit diagram we will analyze the practical drive circuit later this is just to understand the basic operation of this chopper here you can see the squadron 2 operation means voltage is positive and current is negative so as a result the power will be negative v into i that is power will be negative that is why i already said that power flows from low to source this drive is having two modes of operation first mode is when the switch s1 is on and the second mode is when the switch s1 is off this is the first mode when the switch s1 is on when the switch S1 is on, the armature terminals of the motor get short circuited through the switch and the current flows in the negative direction through this path shown in the figure. The back EMF is responsible for the current flow. It drives a current in the negative direction and since the armature terminals are short circuited the armature terminal voltage VA equal to 0 this is shown in the waveform also during T on when the switch S1 is on the armature terminal voltage VA is equal to 0 during this interval and in this during the same interval the current IA, armature current IA increases from IA1 to IA2. That is IA1 to IA2, it increases during the switch S1 is on. Next, when the switch is off. When the switch is off, the current, armature current is transferred to the diode, freewheeling diode and to the source the current flows through this path the diode gets forward bias during this interval and since the armature terminals are connected to the power supply the armature terminal voltage va is equal to vs the diode conducts va is equal to vs current flows from motor to source and the armature current decreases from ia2 to ia1 because this current has to overcome the opposition offered by Vs. Now the current current decreases from Ia2 to Ia1 and armature terminal voltage is Vs as shown in the waveform. Now let us discuss the practical circuit diagram and we will analyze the operation of this drive and we will understand how it provides a regenerative braking or regenerative braking control for the motor so in order to understand or in order to study the regenerative braking control first of all we have to consider a motor which is running in the forward direction initially so let us assume that the motor under consideration is running in the forward direction forward motoring that means it is in the first quadrant now we have to bring that motor to the second quadrant using this 
circuit type b chopper is used for that purpose so a motor which is running in the first quadrant which is running in the forward direction is connected like this so when a switch s1 is closed the back emf drives a current in this direction during the switch and during this interval we, we will we will discuss what happens during this in during 0 to delta t during the when the switch s1 is on then armature terminal voltage will be equal to 0 and armature current increases from ia1 to ia2 and during this interval the motor continues to run in the forward direction due to its inertia so it will be operating as a generator since it is not connected to any power supply it will be running as a generator so it develops a power and that power is dissipated in the resistance ra and some the remaining part of the power developed is stored in the inductor la that is the mechanical energy is converted to electrical energy which is dissipated in ra and stored in la now we will consider what happens during the next interval that is when the switch is open now let's consider the operation of this drive during delta t to t that is when the switch is open when the switch is open the armature terminals are connected to the power supply so the armature terminal voltage is equal to the power supply voltage Vs. During the previous interval, a part of the electrical energy generated was stored in the inductor La. During this interval also, the motor will be developing electrical energy. So that electrical energy plus the electrical energy that was stored in the inductor during the previous interval will be fed back to the source through the diode that is the electrical energy generated during this interval plus energy stored is dissipated in the resistance ra and d diode d and the remaining is fed back to source this is known as regenerative breaking now let's consider the average value of the armature terminal voltage in order to derive the expression we have to consider this waveform so in this waveform you can see from 0 to delta t the armature terminal voltage is 0 and from delta t to t the armature terminal voltage is vs so let's write the equation that is va average value of va is equal to 1 by t integral 0 to t va dt but VA has a definite value during the interval delta 2 to T only. So 1 by T integral T on to T. T on means delta T. T on is equal to delta T as we have already discussed. And this will give you the expression VA is equal to Vs into 1 minus delta. Because T on by T equal to delta this is the expression for the average value of armature terminal voltage va for type b chopper fed drive now we will write the voltage equations for the two operating intervals first of all let us consider the interval when the switch is closed when the switch is closed, the current flows through this path in the negative direction. So, the armature terminals are short circuited through the switch. And the current flows due to the presence of the back EMF. So, when you write the equation, E is equal to IARA plus LA DIA by DT. And the initial condition of current in this interval is 
IA1 because current increases from IA1 to IA2. And during the next interval, when the switch is open, then the current flows in this direction, in the negative direction itself, and it follows this path. That means the major terminals are connected to power supply. So, VA is equal to VS. So, you can write the equation as IARA plus LADIA by DT plus Vs equal to E. Here also we have to write the initial condition. So, initial condition of current in this interval is IA2 because during this interval current decreases from IA2 to IA1. Now, let us consider the steady state operation of this drive. So, when we consider the steady state operation, we can write the equation, voltage equation as E is equal to VA plus IARA because we are not considering the effect of inductance LA during steady state. So, from this equation, we can write the expression for IA equal to E minus VA by RA. And this is the basic equation for torque. Torque T is proportional to IA. Torque is proportional to IA for a separately excited DC motor. But for this drive, armature current is negative. So, we are putting a negative sign here. So, we will write the expression for torque T equal to K into Instead of writing E minus VA by RA, we have written VA minus E by RA due to the negative sign. And we know that for this drive VA, our major terminal voltage VA is equal to Vs into 1 minus delta. So, we are substituting that expression also and we will get this final expression of torque is equal to 1 minus delta into Vs minus E by RA into K. We can use this equation of torque in order to write the expression for speed. Now, in order to get the speed equation, we have back EMF is equal to K into omega M. That is back EMF is proportional to speed. This equation is substituted in the equation for torque that we have already obtained. So, after substituting, we will rearrange the equation in order to get the expression for speed. So, the equation becomes omega m is equal to 1 minus delta Vs by k minus Ra t by k square. This shows the speed torque curve of chopper fed separately excited DC motor. This is a combined speed torque curve for first and second quadrant operations. So, first quadrant operation is given by type A chopper and second quadrant operation is given by type B chopper. So, during motoring that is first quadrant operation the major terminal voltage V is equal to delta V for type A chopper. So, when delta increases, armature terminal voltage increases, that means speed also increases. So, when delta increases, speed increases in the first quadrant if it is driven by a type A chopper or class A chopper. And during second quadrant, the motor will be controlled by a type B chopper so it will be undergoing regenerative braking and for a type b chopper the armature terminal voltage is equal to vs into 1 minus delta that means when 1 minus delta increases va increases so the speed will be increasing if 1 minus delta increases that is the basic concept of the speed torque curve of a chopper fed separately excited DC motor. Thank you.